Hey Clash is the best deck for every single hero in Clash Mini season number 3 and we're not using Max Heroes but instead we are using all of those level 5 heroes so you guys can relate more, you can see better which decks are working and which decks are not working. So let's dive into the first hero and here's the first deck. Okay let's start with the first hero which is the Royal Champion. I think we're starting things off with the... Mm, okay that combination looks good so let's start with that off and... So what you're um, doing with this deck, obviously, is just trying to be as annoying as possible and try to get as many resets as possible. But while we're watching the first fight, I want to give a huge, huge, huge shout out to three, three pros which actually helped me with all of this um, and who are arguably right now few of the most successful, successful players in Clash Mini. I'm talking about Funex, I'm talking about Fire, I'm talking about Sugar Free. When you see a tournament, the chances are really high that one of those three are going to win it. And they came up with a lot of those decks together with me and helped me um, creating for you guys few of the best possible decks. And that's exactly what we're showcasing today. So for every single hero, there is uh, something in there. And hopefully it's going to help you to collect more trophies, have more success overall. So make sure to give those guys a follow. Give those guys some love. I will link those Twitters uh, of them double in the comments. And make sure to watch Karzi as well. He's a German YouTuber who's covering Clash Mini as well. And that's pretty nice as well if you give him some love over there. But... Let's dive back into our match because it's already pretty much over. It's so, so, so crazy how strong Royal Champion came after her rework with her last ability becoming her second ability. It's kind of crazy. So let's see if we can get the Spear Goblin as well. There we go. Maybe we can hit the... I don't know if this guy is like changing his placements or whatever. So let's, let's do this. So we have three lanes covered. Let's see how that's going to work. And let's see what he's going to do. But um, yeah, overall this is pretty, pretty strong. Um, he's trying to concentrate on the... Archer, which is not too bad, and he is going for the Mega Knight. The Mega Knight, we're going to see that a bit later on as well in some of my other decks, um, which, as I said, created together with Phoenix, Corsi Fire, and Sugar Free. But this guy had pretty much no chance whatsoever versus the Royal Champion, even though he was playing, yeah, one of the top two heroes. So let's dive into my Barbarian uh, uh, Barian King deck and see how that how that works. The Baron King and Royal Champion are arguably right now the two best heroes in the game. So let's see how we can actually work together with all of this. Obviously, um, the Lumberjack is working really good if, as soon as you have the third star ability. We don't have it, even though like he's still a great addition to your deck. Because just like giving the boost is already really nice. But you have to remember um, that you can replace him with the Giant Skeleton if you do not have the third star ability for him. I still like to run him. I, I don't know, I just think it's pretty cool. Especially, let's take a look at the tech speed now. Like, those guys are attacking pretty quick. It's pretty nice. Um, but, as I said, overall, it's a really nice to on the third level to just make sure that your backline later on, like the Archer and the Baron combination, are just so, so much more devastating as they already are, pretty much. So, otherwise, the entire idea of this deck is to upgrade your backline. This is everything what you're hoping for. So let's see if we can do that. We're going for the plus three damage early on because we do not have the chicken yet. We do not have the barbarian yet. And I think with that, we try to cover as many lanes as possible with the boulder still in the core. So uh, let's see. First of all, okay, at least, at least this Vigorum is connecting, which is great. So now the buff from the king, which is great. And now we should be able to completely burst down, hopefully burst down, that contest. Yes, there we go. That means the second round should be ours. This guy already upgraded the archer. And as I said, as I said, at this point, it's all about like making sure your backline is surviving longer than the others. Contest is doing a really good job of taking care of the backline because of like archer and contest combination. We're going to talk about that a bit in a second. But now, as I said, as I said, just try to rush the backline as soon as possible. I do not want to invest in another reroll. Okay, so even if we might lose this round, that should be okay. So let's do it like. Mm, this maybe because with this my archer is not going to get targeted by his archer okay so that's like the idea uh, we take down his chicken right away now the barbarian king buff which is great and now our archer you can see is firing away without any threat on her so it's really important to make sure that you're winning this archer game with the barbarian king if you can keep your archer alive you are going to win guaranteed it's pretty crazy so let's see if we can get the chicken um, we need that upgrade. That would be great. Like three star archer obviously is helping you a ton. Now the third star ability to uh, do that, and now as well like let's do this and this, and go for the third ability as well. 
and we're going to make sure that if someone's throwing something at our spear goblin, he is going to survive. So, he is uh, doing a lot of damage right early. Come, come on. Ah, we did not get a king ability out, but maybe the archer is going to carry. Maybe the archer is going to... No. That was good spear toss. That was unfortunately good spear toss. And obviously on level 5 or like on the lower hero level, your heroes are not as tanky yet. So that's really, really unfortunate. So let's see how we can actually do that. I think upgrading the barbarian is always a nice thing. We can actually just go for the upgrade for the spear goblin. I think that's kind of good. Um, so let's see to match. I, I, would, I want to try to match that. So let's block that and maybe... Something like this and try to, yeah, max out the Barbarian. I think something like that might work. Let's see. If he's not hitting our Archer. Thank goodness he did not hit our Archer. That's great. We connect with the Bowler as well. That's awesome. And with that, we're already won the round. Like, it's so quick. It's so freaking quick. And with that, we're winning our our match with the Barbarian King. As I said, like, just upgrade your backline and you're going to win. Even if your Barbarian King is not as tanky in the front line. As long as you're not getting bursted down without casting his ability once, you're fine. And you're going to win probably your match. And we're going to come to the new addition to Clash Mini in this season number three. And that's the Skeleton King. He looks so cool. I have to say he looks so, so cool. But he's unfortunately so, so bad. It is, it, it really hurts. It really hurts to see him in that place. And I feel like one of the reasons is because you do not have this re revive ability early on. Like, I feel like this revive ability should be his second ability, to be honest. Because, um, I mean, otherwise just this isolated damage. Yeah, it's great. You can see it's giving me right now a lot. But at the same time, ah, I, I am not sure. I am not sure. Either way, this deck performed pretty good, actually. Um, it's really rely on the magic archer that you protect it, especially with the dissipate of the magic archer. You can win against the other, a lot of other matchups if you have really good placements. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We need to be careful of the Shelly tile, obviously. So we're going to place something in the back over here with our... Um, let's do it like this. With our... What is it? With our giant. So let's see. He's Okay, he's tossing over his mini packer, which is interesting. And we just have to hope that our... Yeah, that, that our Mega Skeleton King in the front is going to tank as much as possible. This is working way better as soon as you're having him on level 8, because then he can be this solo frontline, which is working pretty good. So as soon as you're up to level 8, you can actually use as well this deck right now, which, on, which is on your screen, which is working pretty good as well overall. Um, but yeah, like, as I said, like, if you want to play a good hero... I have to say, I do not recommend this hero because it's just it's just not that great overall. It's really unfortunate. So, yeah, let's see. We have this. Ah, okay, I didn't move the giant skeleton. But let's see if that's going to work. We have the toss not hitting our opponent, but that's fine. And we should be still able to win this match. Like, ah, I really want to be him being a strong hero because he looks so freaking cool. He looks so freaking cool. But unfortunately, right now, he's not in the best spot. Still, this deck works pretty well if you can angle your Magic Archer correctly. But it's kind of hard. But let's move to the next best hero from the top after the Barbarian King, which I feel like should be the Contest. We are bursting a Barbarian King. Interesting enough that Contest is one of the best counters for the Barbarian King. So what you're trying to do is you try to place your Contest second or third row on, on one side. And then you're going to try to make sure everything is targeting your first row mini. And then you can always get this back sidestep in, which is working most of the time. So let's see. Okay, this time around though did not work because the... Oh, actually we got the two... The double hit pretty much on his magic. Uh, no, it wasn't magic, but it was the wizard in the back. So you can see that's working great. And that's as I said, like if you have this setup, you're most likely going to win versus pretty much every hero in the first round. Except versus Royal Champion. That's going to... That's where it can be tricky sometimes. But otherwise, versus the media heroes, you are going to be looking great. Let's let's switch this around. He's actually playing Magic Archer, which is interesting. So let's see how that's going to work for him. But let's try to have the... Um, like this setup. Let's go for the single damage and uh, boost in the beginning, obviously. Because why exactly is it so important to bring the Archer with the contest? Well, there's one specific reason. That specific reason is that... As soon as you're playing with the Contest and you're going to damage your backline mini, the Contest is going to teleport over there. And with that, it's pretty much shredding through the backline. This is like your main idea um, in this deck overall with the Contest. And just to make sure that you're setting up the Contest to success. So let's see if that's going to work overall. Because 
Now we need to get our tank on the board. The Lumberjack was great the first, maybe the second round. But after that, we need our tank on the board, which we're going to do. So let's do the tag boss over there. And let's see. There we go. The Mega Knight. I know a lot of people say the Mega Knight is not that great and everything. But to be honest, I kind of disagree. I think the Mega Knight overall can be really, really strong. I think he can be really, really strong um as a solo tank in the in, in the front just because he got so much buffed and especially with this current uh, meta with some of the heroes being really and some of the minis being really really um mini focused you can get some nice cc out to make sure that your other minis can really do their job nicely so let's get the ability off okay there we go mini packer though oh that mini packer is devastating so there's going to be another round, but we're getting there slowly with making sure that next round we are going to upgrade our Archer to make sure that our um, Contest is getting even more value and quicker value, especially with like quick resets, obviously, through the back line. That's our goal now. So let's see if we can get that right. I feel like on this one, we are going to do something like this, maybe. He's having a Bowler Magic Archer, so let's do something like that. Um, we're going to go for the upgrade for the Archer, as I said, and the Barbarian maybe as well. Archer, there we go. Always nice to have that third star, and he's playing the Spear Goblin, so... I'm not really sure where to place my Lumberjack, but... Well, if we're going to win this round, the Lumberjack would be a great opportunity to upgrade him, because he's giving you a lot of power for the backline. So let's see the Archer, you can see the Archer. The Archer going freaking crazy! The Archer is incredible, this third star ability. And take a look at that. He has no Lumberjack, so we are going to win this one versus one with our backline. You will see in just a second how that's going to work. It's pretty cool, so now let's do it like this. Let's try that. I think we we have to block. Like, if he's going with the Spear Goblin over there, we kind of have to block. So let's do Lumberjack. Oh, we don't have the third star. No, okay, so let's quickly upgrade that guy. Maybe Baron, okay. No, damn it, okay. So Lumberjack third star upgrade would be awesome over here, but unfortunately we don't have it. We don't have it just yet. That's really unfortunate. So this guy now has the mini power. Oh no, our contest got wrecked so quickly but we get the reset like we get the the boast ability of the archer and with that we're going to win this one obviously we have the three star archer uh, three star barbarian as well which is just melting through those tanks and the mega knight really do not underestimate him the mega knight is really a nice frontline tank especially if your hero is not the tank like in most melee hero matchups king uh, Wave Master, uh, Skeleton King, your hero is one of the tanks, one of the main tanks. With Contest, that's not the case. You need a really heavy frontline tank, and that's exactly what the Mega Knight can do. The Archer Queen, the Fallen Angel, if you want to call it her like that, because she was at her peak, and she got obliterated in, uh, yeah, <laughs> not the nicest ways. So let's see. There we go. Um, we get a nice tank in the beginning, really early on, and that's like the thing about the Archer Queen. You try to have as many tanks as possible. That's pretty much the entire idea you, you try to go for with uh, the Archer Queen. Try to make sure that it takes as long as possible for your attacking troops to get to you. That That's pretty much the entire idea. This is why we're using the Giant Skeleton. This is why we're using the Mega Knight later on. So... We are using as many mini which can stall overall and make sure that your queen can actually be the carry which uh, she typically does. So next one is going to be something like this. Let's switch the side. Why not? I'm still scared that he's bringing an archer. This is why I'm placing too many behind my queen. Maybe even going like this. Let's do like this. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, okay, he's he has the archer as expected. This is exactly why we have some minis behind the queen to make sure that, well, she is able to survive. That's like the idea, obviously. Now the giant bomb is going off. Now the mega knight ability is going off. So you can see there is so much, so much stalling possibility in, in your setup with so many stuns. Like you can really make the life of your opponent really miserable um, with even upgrading them later on the musketeer. If you upgrade the musketeer, you can get so many more stuns out there as well. Like then, obviously, the lumberjack again. The lumberjack is such a powerful mini uh, overall. And let's see, third star ability. Yes, we have the third star ability. That's great. If you don't have it just yet, make sure that you're upgrading the first one. Both are fine. The third is obviously better. Um, so let's place it over there. If he has a spear goblin, let's hope he has no bowler whatsoever. Perfect. He has no bowler. That's great. Again, the archer is tanked in our... Musketeer, which is super tanky, so uh, that's like the entire idea. Now the Rage, Mega Knight, jumping and everything, and we're just going to stall, 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 uh, stall, and with that, 
we should be able to win this next round because our queen is going to finish this off. Queen deck, it can be still strong, has some counters obviously, but this right now is probably the best queen deck out there. And well, let's move to the next hero. The Wave Master. Overall, such a cool hero as well. Um, but I feel like the best thing to like best way on how to, to play him is overall the uh yeah, the clash deck. The clash deck, which means try to have as many clash mini in your deck as possible. So again, try to create as much chaos as possible on the other side of the of the of the board. That's pretty much the entire idea, not only of this deck, but overall of the hero. So I feel like it's really great working together. So we do not need to change too much compared to last season. The best decks over there. And this one we can see great and easy early pickup in the first round. And Wave Master, I mean you can obviously use that uh, nice special tile on the Wave Master to make him even stronger on the back end. But uh yeah, first round for us. So let's see on oh, the next one. We have, um, what do we go for? I feel like maybe the mini pack over there. Let's just have the triple front line. And let's, whatever he's going to put onto that special tag, we're going to obliterate it, okay? Let's see if that's going to work. So, what, is he placing the royal champ over there? That would be kind of funny. He is, oh, wait, what is this guy doing? He's doing something strange. Um, Is he even really playing? I guess. Yes, we have to wait what he's doing in the next round, but this is already looking really good. I don't know why he's trying to rush the Lumberjack. Maybe because of his name, Rage Up. Maybe. Maybe that's a meme. I, I don't know. I don't know. Something is going on over here, but we're still going our route and see what we can do. So, now that Prince, let's do again this. And the question now is what do we go for upgrade wise? I feel like right now at this point, it's really nice to get the mini pack upgraded with the dissipate. That's always a great move. So let's do something like this. Let's see if that's going to work. But depending on, like, if, let's see if he has the three star lumberjack already. He does not have the lumberjack already, that, but that's fine. He's having other upgrades. He actually is using the Royal Ghost. I think the Royal Ghost is even worse than the. Skeleton King to be honest, but yeah, I mean if you can be honest I I don't think it would have changed anything if he would have played differently This deck is so freaking annoying to deal with uh, so many clash abilities. So let's just move to the next hero Okay, shield maiden is um, a tough one to be honest I felt like it was not that easy to find a good deck for her But we're going to try today it's, and it's pretty much the same one which um, was used already earlier um, last season where it's working really really great and it's all relying on this healing power of the ranged healer Ranged healer is a great mini still in a couple of decks where for example like the um, Like the shield maiden your tank is the main 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 everything pretty much because your your hero has to tank everything, has to do everything, and that's like the thing. Obviously, you have to like stack up and make sure that you're, um, yeah, getting the upgrades in, right? Like that's the most important thing. So let's see if we can do that. Um, we are going for. We could go for the next upgrade for the uh, for the range cheater, but I feel like it's not the most successful one. So let's see if we can do something different. Yeah, like like this guy. I feel like that's a way better move. Hopefully he's not sending sending anything. Okay, that's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. Um, so now let's see if we can get the heal in. Come on, the heal, heal, heal. Ability that no, the boulder is running. Why is the boulder running there? We do not get the heal in. Come on, come on. This has to work, and the prince has to die. And yes, there we go. Our range healer. In addition to that, I mean, this skin is great, okay? The skin looks awesome. So that's another reason to play the range healer. So this deck is one of the only um, decks which is works where it works really great. So next thing, we, ha we have to switch that. We're going over there with our mini packers. So if he's sending something over, we should be fine. And let's put that over there. And obviously the upgrade. I think the wider area should be a good fit, right? Actually, I just completely messed up with the bowler, I believe. Actually, I think I believe I messed up big time with the bowler. Let's hope that I'm going to heal my... Yes, I think that healing should maybe... No! We just missed our shield maiden. No freaking way. The resets are coming in. Heal! Oh, no, 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 no. That is so unfortunate. That was not a good setup. You always need to make sure that you're knowing how to set up and make sure that you're controlling where this um, healing is going pretty much. So let's see, this time around though, we're doing a bit of a different setup. 
Um, Boulder needs to be somewhere different. Let's do it like this. Maybe. Oh, we need to upgrade. We need to upgrade this. Another something. No, no. Okay, okay. Can we win this now without even upgrading everything? That would be kind of crazy. The miners just getting obliterated, which is really unfortunate. But can we still make this work? That's the question now. Come on, healing, healing, healing. Yes, there we go with the healing. That's great. Getting the shield out. We have not the upgrade boost, which we would have had otherwise. But still, we are looking good. There's the plus four. There we go. Thank goodness. Thank goodness we won that one. Okay. And now at this point, it's all about getting this three-star ranged healer to completely, completely annoy our opponents. So healing spear is uh, doing the attack speed. Do we go with a bow? No, we don't go with a boulder. No. Okay, mini P.E.K.K.A. Let's do this. Come on, give me... Yes, there we go. Give me the healer. That was a, a tough one. Oh, let's do it like this. Let's hope that he's not hitting our miner again. Thank goodness, miner. Are you kidding me? This miner takes forever. Like, are you guys having... Oh, no, oh, no. Having the same feeling that the miner needs to have a buff? Like, just that he's getting underground quicker? It's so annoying, guys. It's so annoying. It's incredible. And my healing ranger is doing nothing right now. But hey, the healing ranger itself is already the carry because he's attacking so fast. There we go. There we go. Oh, that miner had not a great time. Really, the miner, they have to rework the miner. That is, the miner is going underground quicker. But if you do not like this deck and you really go for full healing, maybe you should check this deck out right now on your screen. Otherwise, um, that's the deck. Let's move on to the next hero. The monk is in and we are playing with, um, let's see, this new deck. So we are... I guess we just go for the monk over here and then for the archer. I'm not really, I do not want to invest any rerolls because this deck as well is obviously having the barge combination, which is um, archer and barbarian. So we really want to match those as fast as possible over, um, over, over the time. So the problem is pretty much that if we invest a lot of rerolls early on, it has um, the problematic that, well, we don't match those mini quickly so that's like the thing for us right now though it's looking pretty good maybe oh my lord that was not even close not even close but winning that first round the first round is pretty much one of the rounds which are kind of the easiest to win versus the royal champ let's let's put it like that for the monk because you can just if you get lucky resets you can just overpower him now let's see we have the bowler as well and we are going for the archer i think for this one so let's go now for that setup. Ah, uh, okay. Let's see. Oh, he's. Oh no, that's that prince was good. That prince was unfortunately really good. Damn it. Okay, we might even have to ignore the revive. She. Do we actually have to ignore them? Because our monk is coming back anyways, right? So even with the spear goblin, it should be fine for us to use it. Okay, okay. It's not going to be easy, especially versus the royal champ. Like being such a strong hero but let's see so going for that upgrade come on come on we need yeah okay that's that's great so like this upgrade right there now the question is though how do we do that like this this maybe i don't know Let, let's let's see how that works Okay, he's concentrating on the core. Oh, he actually one-shot our tank. But that's a in heavy investment into the Prince upgrade. I don't know if that's worth it, to be honest. I feel like that's not worth it all. Like, that Prince upgrade, especially stacking it with our with the with the Spear Goblin. He pretty much one-shot our tank. But after that, the power was just gone. The power of his, his troops, were, they were just not as strong anymore. So, now we have our Thracer Archer. That's great. And we go for this upgrade tool as well. So now something like this. I think something like this looks good. Let, let's see how that works. Um, I'm still thinking like if we should have ch uh, changed or switched anything. But I think that should be looking good. We have again our tank gone, but that's fine because our archer is like just obliterating his backline. And we just have too many mini alive, right? Like this is not winnable for him. Yeah, no chance. He's getting some nice resets, but still like our archer is just going... Crazy. And with that, we're going to win that matchup. That's that's great. And with that, we are done with every single hero. Let me know down below in the comments which one of those is your favorite deck. I have to say right now, I'm a huge contest fan, especially with the deck. Uh, I had some pretty good success. Overall, 
Dogs, bro. As I said, the best decks right now at the moment. Huge shout out to Sugar Free, Funex, and Causifier to help me make sure that we, we had huge arguments obviously going on. Like, what is the best, which is easiest? What is the best for letter? What is the best as well deck if you do not have all of the upgrades? And so on and so on. So, I really truly hope that. This is going to help you. And whenever you are going for the best decks, make sure to follow this channel because I will always have the best decks um, out there for you guys, supported by pro players to make sure that's guaranteed really, really successful for you guys. And you will always have an advantage using those decks. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys uh, with the next video again. Until then, see ya and bye-bye.